Hello everybody and good evening. My name's Faye and this is Fairy Floss, my Floss Tube channel. If you've not been here before, then thank you so much for coming. And if you are returning, thank you for coming back. It's great to have you back. Right now, I am on about 97 subscribers, so I'm like three away from meeting 100. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you fancy doing, then I'd really appreciate just in hitting... Um, a three figure number is that the thing three figure number i'd really i'd really like to hit 100 people anyway i think that'd be really cool and i have promised if i get to 100 i'll buy my cat marley a new toy but also um hopefully my boyfriend's going to do something nice for me as well so um if you've got any suggestions of what we should be doing to celebrate my 100 then um pop it in the comments below and of course there will be a giveaway which we will figure out when i get to 100 um so yeah it'd be great but um it doesn't matter how many or how how little of you are how many of them you are but i'm just happy that you're here and coming to see what i'm stitching so let's see what i've been up to this week um back to work so it has been a busy busy week for me very very different lots of changes in the workplace now lots of new things to um get used to but you know we'll get there it's week one and we've got a long way to go and you know hopefully things will start settling even more but the good news is i've still found time to stitch this week so let's see what i've been up to um so my whips firstly um i think i showed you last week I'd hit 0.5% of pandemic. Well, the good news is I've now hit 1% of pandemic. So, for those of you who are curious, oops, random thread, this is what 1% of pandemic looks like. Sorry, the lighting is a bit bad. It's late tonight. A bit of a cheat because I did do quite a bit of the border, but um, I'm quite happy with my progress actually. Um, one percent is a lot, I think it's about seven. I can tell you exactly. One percent was. Roughly about 800, 804 stitches, give or take. So that is 800 stitches worth of pandemic. But I am enjoying it. It's a really fun stitch. Um, I managed to get my little squirrel in there as well. He's a very fawn coloured squirrel, but he's very nice. And yeah, so next week I should try and add some more animals. Put that really long burden that everybody's adding and keep going at it. Aiming for the 2% next week, 1% a week. We shall see. Um, my second whip that I've been working on this week is good old drive through that I've been trying my best to get through. And we have got progress, most definitely. Um, let me put something behind it on fire. Nothing to put behind it. Um, magazine behind it. So, this is where I've got to now, excuse my needle dangling. The thing is with um, perforated paper, you can't really put a needle minder on it. And I don't like threading the needle into it in case I tear it. So um, I've managed to finish off all the trees. And I love those two colours together. They blend so nicely. And um, oh, this lighting is dreadful, so sorry. Um, and also, I'm working on my sky now. So I've filled in the border of the sky. So hopefully by next week that will be done and I'll be working on the bottom bit because I am really craving a finish on this one because I've got some other meal hill kits that I really want to get started on so hopefully by next week you might see even more progress on that one and then um so I've not done loads this week but you know look after me I'm working hard and the last um well no this is a new start actually so I showed you my September plans in last week's video and then this morning I realised I hadn't actually started a new start yet so I thought I would get out the um, refrog trio that I've been dying to start for absolutely ages so I've made a start on middle frog um, so it's 
which how does it go in? I can never do it right. So I was like, hear no evil, see no evil, say no evil. So I'm working on see no evil at the moment, middle foggy. And the fabric that I've chosen is Joy Drew Threads Birthday Candles. <laughs> Excuse me. And um, this is it so far. Oh, that's very see through as well. Right, I'm not going to do a late night video again in this room. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it doesn't stand out very well yet, but I think it will do when I've got all the white bits in and the um, back stitched um, outline as well. I think it'll look a lot better then. But yeah, I've given a start on this and um, it's really cute actually. I'm enjoying it. However, about half an hour ago, I've managed to get the most dreadful knot in the back of it and I have actually no idea what is going I'll show you what is going on with this knot so it's like in two pieces and it's coming out of one part and coming out of another part and it's really tight as well so I'm not sure it can be saved if I'm honest I think I might just have to snip a bit out and um just tie it up and get it going again but oh, it is what it is isn't it um so annoying though <laughs> when you're on a roll and suddenly that big fat knot comes and you spend ages just hoping that you might be able to get it sorted and you can't yeah um so that's my issue um so yeah that has been what i've been working on this week um so hopefully I'll get a bit more when things start settling i should be able to get a bit more done but if you've noticed on my instagram page then i have been doing quite a bit of painting as well um i bought a painting with go ash book um a couple of weeks ago so i've been trying to learn how to paint and do illustrations and so i'll show you one of them i'm not going to show you the whole book to do a little video and a flip through so I did this the other day and I really enjoyed it as well. Um it was right back there from this. That's almost okay. So yeah, that was my attempt at Goash. Um I've got a long way to go, but I'm really, really enjoying doing something different. I like different creativity and different things to do. I'm not all about just cross stitching. You, know, you will find me doing other little bits and pieces on this channel as well because I think it's just quite nice to explore so many different avenues as well. Um, so yeah, that's what's been keeping me busy, apart from work and my bits of stitching. Um, teeny tiny bit of haul today. Um, I'm probably not going to be buying too much now because I feel like I've got enough to keep me going till um, Christmas. I might actually look at that Stitch from Stash page and then figure out how you get credit to treat yourself to more for doing finish and things like that. Um, I keep seeing people mentioning Stitch from Stash, so I might have a look and see. So the only thing I got, because I popped into town on the last day of the holidays, and as I was walking past a charity shop, there was a big box with a sign that said craft magazines, and like, I'm not just going to walk past that, am I? So I popped in and I found, which I was quite impressed with, um, a Molly Makes magazine. Um, is it a couple of months old? I don't know. It doesn't say what month it's from. Um, probably May or June this year, I'm assuming. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, Molly Makes magazine. And the reason I've picked it up really is £1.50. And it came with a lovely little bumblebee embroidery as well. So um, I quite like it when you get a kit with them because it feels more worthwhile and so yeah one pound fifty for a kit i was pretty happy with that so um, and i do like doing embroidery as well so um i might get that going this week just for a bit of a change it'd be nice to have some embroidery on the go alongside my cross stitch as well so um let's see what i do um so this is probably going to be a very quick video um because i've got <laughs> it's been a very busy week and i've not got too much to share but as you know i like popping on i like saying hello i like reading your comments i like the interaction i think it's absolutely lovely um stick to kindness um well general kindness um i'm going to give a shout out to my lovely friend Gemma up north um she lives in my hometown and um 
my dad's just had an operation on his hips so he's um, immobile at the moment so he's unable to use, I mean even though they're in lockdown and like they've not been able to go anywhere really for the last six months now they're not able to go anywhere out of the house for the next um six weeks because he's got to self-isolate so um it's really difficult for them to get food and stuff so lovely Gemma went and bought them some food from um, her shop the other day which was really really kind of her so um what we're going to do is put her instagram down below because she's a stitcher as well she goes by stitchy gem i hope at stitchy gem i'll pop that down below in the comments and please please give her a follow because um yeah she's been absolutely awesome at the moment she's really looking after my mum and dad when i'm unable to get there myself so yeah give her a cheer say hello she stitches some really cool stuff she does all the um, fun television stuff um and it all it always looks really good um so yeah have a gander see what she's doing and um any other stitchy kindness feeling quite unkind no i'm not um oh i know what i was gonna actually say um so i would like to promote my foster youth channel but um if you've seen my first few videos i was working on a um what's it called? not a sampler um a wedding thing for my friend who got married last year and if i put this on my instagram then she might come on and see what i've made her because i've not been able to give it to her yet because of lockdown so if you would like to promote my flash tube channel on your instagram page or on your flash tube page and let me know about it and let me know that you've given me a shout out then i will um Take your address and I will post you some kind of stitchy kindness um, as a gift because it's something that I would like to do, but I can't because I'm keeping a big secret. But um, if you want to do my job for me, then um, you'll get something lovely back in return. Um, so, yeah, so this week's plans. Um, I'm going to carry on stitching what I've got. I'm going to get my Brontes back out properly. Um, I got them out the other day. I just did about three stitches, so I've not bothered showing you that. Um, but no, I'm going to get finished on the last two books and get started on this month's book, which I can't remember what I've decided. Um, I'll put that in the comments below as well. Um, it's been a bit stressful. And um, what else am I going to be doing? I'm going to carry on with the frogs, try and get rid of that big horrible knot that I've just made, get a bit more of pandemic done, and potentially i might have to start the mother-in-law's christmas present as well just so i've got ahead because knowing me i'll keep forgetting i'll keep putting it back and then it'll be like half midway through november and then i'll realize i've got a pile of presents and things to do so no i am going to try and get myself a little bit more organized now i've got my school planner so i'm actually going to dedicate some pages of that into um um christmas planning as i've got actually i bought a christmas planner last year i'm gonna have to see where that is um and sort out all my christmas presents and see what i'm making for people um the sewing machine in case you're wondering still not being used because it didn't come with any threads or anything so i've got to actually go and get some threads so i bought some today so maybe during this week i might have a little go at the sewing machine try and get used to starting it up setting it up and then hopefully i might be able to start doing a bit of, um so we need to tweak as well and share that with you. Um, so if you've got any comments, any questions for me, then pop them down below in the box. Um, I love reading your comments. Um, I'll happily answer questions as well. That's great. Um, if you wanted to send me a private message or a comment on um, Instagram, that's fine as well. You'll find me at Yaffy Mac. I'll pop that down below as well. And um, apart from that i think i've got that's all i've got to share with you very short and sweet video hopefully it'll be a bit more in depth next week who knows um but hey ho i'm here i love you all so keep smiling keep stitching have a wonderful week and i'll see you next sunday goodbye